Alright, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. One for the money, two for the show, three times for all of my damn stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ. Coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out, man. Not a lot to talk about. A little bit of time to talk about it in, man. We got this thing going for y'all, man. Let me let y'all know. Hey, what show are y'all binging through that that that's gotten, you know, like it's gotten some episodes behind it and you binging it, you binging through it right now. Let me know down in the comments. Right now, what I'm binging through, bro, is um the blacklist. I I, I began watching the blacklist. I watched season one and season two as soon as the show came out. And then as all of our wives do, a girlfriends or significant other, she claimed this as a show that we should watch together. And they think by claiming it as a show that we should watch together that you're just not gonna watch. You, so you ain't supposed to watch the show no more. Now, six years have gone by, and I have not watched episode uh, three in season three of The Blacklist. I'm like, bro, so I started watching it yesterday. What you watching? I'm watching The Blacklist. Ain't we supposed to watch that together? Baby, it's been six years! Literally six years, six revolutions around the sun, and I'm supposed to still be holding this show in escrow just because you said you wanted to watch it together when we have it, bro. Stop. Well, women love doing that. Let me know what show that you're watching right now that you're binging, and what show has your significant other, girlfriend, what Netflix and chill partner, uh, backshot mania partner, whatever, has claimed and put in escrow that you that you were watching just fine without them, but now you can't watch it. Um, now you can't watch it because they didn't claim the show. And let me know what the longest that you, what, what your moratorium is on waiting. Mine must have been six years. I waited six years. I shouldn't have. But yo, hey, let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Uh, first up, man, hey, NBA 2K Toots did a very interesting video on fancy footwork. Y'all need to go over there and check it out. What he's telling you with fancy footwork is this. He's saying that it is a badge it does not actually help you do the moves any better. You don't do the moves any faster. You don't do them any more uh, consistently. They don't trigger any better. None of that happens. This is a badge that what it does is mainly its main job is to freeze the opponent so that they cannot react. You see right there how I froze the guy right here. Boom. You see how I pushed him out of the way. So when you're playing the game, and somebody hop steps you and it pushes you out of the way, it's because they got on fancy footwork. And you see where he was saying the badge only triggers if you get an animation that pushes the person out of the way. So you're gonna complete, it doesn't help you complete hop steps. You're gonna complete hop steps anyway. You're gonna do the hop steps anyway. You're gonna trigger the hop steps anyway. All that's fine. But when it pushes the person out of, out of position like that and lets you walk and travel like James Harden, my boy! Hey, when it lets you do that, that's when the badge triggers. Even like, even like right here, like right, like what he said. Look, boom, that guy was already out of the way, so the badge didn't trigger, right? Because he got fooled by himself. It's when the computer takes control of your character and moves you out of the way for the person doing fancy footwork that fancy footwork triggers. It's, it's, it's just like uh, tight handles or whatever, like how tight handles would freeze you and stuff like that. Fancy footwork is tight handles for hop steps, I guess you would say. And look, like he was saying, you know, one of the badges that goes with it, obviously, is bailout. You only need bailout on bronze, man, if you want to be effective. But, like, right! Well, that's some rackation for the rack nation. That was a little nasty right there. But mainly, that's what he was saying. That's what that's what fancy footwork does. It's the it's the badge. It's that right, right there. It's just like an ankle breaker for, for hop steps. If you get the ankle breaker animation on the hop steps, that's when fancy that's when fancy footwork is going to kick in that's what it allows you to do and he also says that fancy footwork itself you got to watch the whole video to get all of it but he also said the fancy footwork itself the uh the different levels you can get the ankle breakers you know you can get the ankle breakers on all levels but you the, the frequency goes up when you go up to hall of fame or gold or silver or what have you so that's that's really what that is but look don't take my word for it. Matter of fact, don't take my word for it at all. His link is down in the description. The link to this video is down in the description. Go to the channel. Subscribe to NBA 2K Toots. Watch the video. 
and uh, and see for yourself. And also, make sure you like the video if you like the video and subscribe for more daily 2K content on this channel as well as his because he put out the five videos, man. You see he coming up, he doing his thing, man. He's grinding. I love to see people that's grinding and making some headway in the community, making a name for themselves, and then, you know, he's going to get rid of the transition. Is uh his content and you know do something else and hey you know hey maybe he gonna get into gameplay or something next maybe he continue to do you know just what he's doing right now hey it's working for him like now him man all oh, city live tv go take more of them guys out hey up next man we got jamar 12 pr the former center for get for blazers game in two years in a row he took home the uh the two hundred fifty thousand dollars in the my team tournament life changing no matter if you already in the 2k 2k league or not a lump sum of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars is life changing now i know somebody gonna hit me with the hey, hey, after taxes it's only one hundred and twenty five thousand because he's in the season the 50 percent tax break. bro we don't know how much more he gonna get don't count that man pocket hey he gonna get the one he gonna get that 250 now, the taxes that he's going to have to pay on it, that's going to be something else. But he's going to get that 250 Whether or not he's going to pay the taxes on it, that's up to him. That's his business. Hey, y'all let me know, man. Would y'all pay the taxes on it? Y'all going to take the whole uh, amount of time that you that you can take to pay the taxes on it? I'm taking one lump sum, all right? And I'm going to hook my mama up with some, hook my daddy up with some. I'm going to buy my daddy a Tahoe skull. Buy my mama a Tahoe Escalade. They're going to mix. They're going to make something new for her. A Tahoe mix with an Escalade. And then they're going to, um, I'm going to buy my daddy uh, a spider. That's what he always wanted. And then after that, buy, uh, uh, probably going to buy a house. And after that, I, mean, I got a great job. So, I mean, a, a one lump sum of that magnitude, I'll be good. I'll pay the taxes off. Uh, business right off next five years something like that I don't know what I would do but that's probably what I do I probably buy everybody um, I probably buy like for myself y'all won't believe it man my dream car that I just want it's not even a dream car like y'all know how y'all want funny cars or whatever the funny car that I want cuz I already got a charger I got a uh, I got all the cars that I want cuz I mean I, I, cuz I don't want nothing all I wanted was a Dodge Charger and I got that um, got my company car I want to kill a soul, man. I'm going to go find one. As soon as I hit it big on YouTube, my video for I bought a new car is going to be a black, all black, blacked out kill soul. And me and Ed's going to be whipping that motherfucker. I'm talking. Hold on, man. Let me find me one of them, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Blacked out kill soul. Why? Tell me this joint ain't fine, man. Uh, look at that. The heart, the, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> the all black, blacked out, kill soul man. You telling me that I ain't fine? You telling me that I ain't fine, my boy? Bro, stop. Bro, stop. Stop it. Stop it. Let's go look at this one. Blacked out, kill soul. Oh, this does kill Mojave. I don't care about that. I might get one of them in the future. I want one of the Telluride. I want the Telluride too. The Telluride kind of fire too. It looks like a, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's look that up, let's look that up right quick. Kia Telluride. The Telluride almost look like a baby Land, uh, Land Rover or something like that. So like, this will probably be the second car I get when I when I, when I I make it big on YouTube, Never Weary 2009. Uh, I'll probably get this one right here because it almost look like a baby Land Rover, but it's like $50,000 or something like that. I can't afford that right now. But I can get me a Kia Soul, baby. The Kia Soul train. I'm going to get the all black dot Kia Soul. And I'm going to be in there whipping that motherfucker to the gym. It's going to be my gym. My gym ride, man. That's what they're going to be, man. Look at that thing. Boy, that thing. That thing. Fire. I don't care what nobody say, man. But like I said, that's just a weird car that I want. The all black, blacked out, tinted out Kia Soul that's what I want. What y'all want? What's the weird car that you want that people wouldn't think that you wanted or whatever like that? Like I said, I already, I'm over the Chevy S10. I had one of those. And that was every country boy's, uh, you know, first truck or whatever like that. And that's, that's every country boy's uh, first truck, man. But, you know, we, we want to, I, I done graduated to this. Because I always wanted the Kia Sportage when it was older. And now, now, um, now, uh, now I just, now I just want the Kia Soul, I guess, you know. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. I don't know how. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the allure is. But the Kia Soul blacked out. That's 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 what I'm talking about right now. This is what I'm talking about with the tinted windows and all that. 
That's fire right there. The mini, it's like, that thing ain't like a mini, mini Cooper, man. Anyway, up next, man, last but not least, <laughs> y'all probably think I'm crazy. Like, Jay, you crazy as hell, but I am, man. But, hey, we all got weird tastes. You know what I'm talking about? Last but not least, the most balanced 2K, man. Somebody was asking this right here. NBA 2K Intel said, what's the most balanced 2K? One person says, without archetypes, 16. With archetypes, in them, 17. Uh, 17 was actually a really good game, I felt like. Balanced, um, it was balanced until people started using brick wall and the, and the speed boost and sharps. It was pretty balanced. Um, I thought that 16 was pretty balanced as far as, okay, if you want to say as far as gameplay and archetypes together, 16 was probably the most balanced with gameplay, with gameplay and how you had to make your character. Uh, 17, I, I even feel like 18 was, was balanced as far as the archetypes. But the gameplay in 17 and 18 at times was not balanced. I I do feel like that 18 was pretty balanced until people decided that they wanted to do um the snatch back over and over. Like they just dropped their shoulder and snatch back. But the archetype system in 18 was actually really balanced. I don't think anything was overpowered about it. Because you had a, if you had a lockdown defender, pure lock, that's what you had. Uh, you, you, you really couldn't shoot, you really couldn't do anything. Uh, but you could play your D, you could defend your ass off. But everybody could defend, so it was really no need in having a lockdown defender. It was a, it, there was a need to have a half and half. Like, there was a place for the half and halves out there, but it really wasn't a place for the, for the pure lock. The pure lock really didn't get overpowered until 19. That's when all the stuff was overpowered. And then they broke centers. Like, I don't understand what their vendetta is against centers. They, like, they want everybody to have fun in the game except big men. And then the big men got to do the dog work. We can't have no fun. They done nerf shooting for big men. I've proven that. I've, uh, if you have, like, if you've got, if you got quick draw on Hall of Fame with a big man, it's still slower than silver on a guard. You realize that? My, my guard got silver quick draw. My big man has Hall of Fame quick draw on. And it's still slower on my center than it is on my guard. That's crazy. Even if it's the same, it's still crazy. But they have shit on big men so badly. This, you know, and then they still haven't picked post scores. So they know that nobody really playing the inside center and nobody really chose a paint beast. But you can really throw, bro, I saw a dude throw a 80, on my team, throw a 89% contested hook. And it went in. Bad, bad release, very late release, 89% contested, went in. It's crazy, man. You get a foot in that paint with a post score, you can score, it doesn't matter what happened. But hey, it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. So as far as the archetypes being balanced, I thought, I thought that 18 was probably the most balanced as far as the archetypes being balanced because you had to mix things together to be certain things with 17. I mean, 17, you could just be a, you could just be a, a sharpshooter, but you can still pretty much do everything dribble. I can do baseline reverse off one, all that stuff. Um, and, and I can play defense. I can do all of that. So that was pretty balanced, but I liked 18 system better where if you wanted to do something, you could literally tailor make your player to what you wanted him to do. So I had my guy being able to dunk, shoot the jump shot and play outstanding defense. And I think I was six, nine on that y'all was six nine i was moving pretty fast so i like that um but but the gameplay just, just it just wasn't there because they had too many exploits but other than the exploits if you played people that didn't exploits and then do the exploits and stuff 18 was pretty good but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments man which one do y'all think was the most balanced 2k i really think 16 was probably the most balanced of all even though it did have some serious issues 18 had probably had the most balanced archetypes not gameplay but archetypes and um you know that's probably where I would stand on that. 17 was probably the most balanced overall, unless you ran into people. Because you didn't really run into too many people that just wanted to just uh, screen you and brick wall you to death. You didn't run into too, too many people like that. But it was a lot of people like that. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Um, if, if, if I had to go back to one, I would probably, I probably would, I, like if I wanted to revisit a game, I would probably want to revisit 18 more than anything. Just because I want to see if that was really as bad as people thought it was. But uh, I think I could probably revisit. I think I had the most fun in 18. I had a lot of fun in 18. I had a lot of fun in 16, too, and 17. I think we had the most fun in 18. 
Because we used to just beat ass, and that was like the last game where you could get game after game after game after game after game with nobody quitting. And then if you did play sweats, we knew how to deal with that back with, with all that with all the cheese. So it was cool. 18 was fun to say to me, man. It might not have been to y'all. But anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'm gonna holler next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People Shop. God speak. <laughs>